Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we're talking about the Sephora Dry Clean Instant Dry Brush Cleaner Spray. I saw this and I just had to pick it up. I was so intrigued because if you're like me, then you hate washing your brushes. It's definitely a chore for me. You know, you spend forever scrubbing out your brushes and then while they're wet, you have to kind of fluff them back to its shape and you have to leave it upright to dry and you can't use them for like 24 hours until they dry and some of the larger ones take longer to dry on the inside. Like the next day you're using it, you're like, oh, it's still a little bit wet on the inside. Um, and so I was really excited when I saw this because dry clean, I mean, if you can just spray this on a brush, um, and clean it and it becomes dry and you can use it instantly, then this would be like the miracle product. So, uh, let me just zoom the camera up close and we can take a look and try out the product. Okay, so I've pulled three of my Real Technique brushes here. These are the ones that I use most often that are very, very dirty. So let's just get started and we'll try all three of these brushes and see what it looks like afterwards. So we'll just start with my crease brush here. It's really dirty. It says spray two to three times directly onto the brush head and sweep brush onto tissue or towel to lift surface residue. Okay, here we go. But let's just oh wow this is cool this is pretty cool look at all that color that's coming off okay it looks pretty clean I mean it looks cleaner than it was before when we started but I can still see there's a little bit of color um, left like inside so let me just try spraying it again And let's see if we can get more of the color off. Okay, yeah, there we go. We're getting some some more color. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. This looks really good. Uh, all of the color has come off. And this brush looks really good. And it's definitely dry to the touch now. You could just you could totally just use this uh, immediately. That's pretty awesome. Okay, let me try my next brush, which is my fluffy blending brush. Wow, this is pretty amazing. It's getting a lot of the color off. But I think since this is a bigger brush, you'll definitely have to go in there twice. Okay, this is pretty good. This looks really good, actually. I can tell there's still a little bit of color, but overall, I'm very happy with the product. It's taken most of the color off, and it feels like a brand new, fluffy, clean brush. And this one also feels dry to the touch, like it's completely ready to go. All right, lastly, let's try out my blush brush. I'm interested to see if I could get all of this bright pink coral out. I would be really impressed if it can. Well, it's definitely getting a lot of it out. But you can see there's still a lot of pink left. I'm going at it a second time, but this time it's not getting a whole lot of the pink out. You see there's not a whole lot more that's coming off of the brush. But I can tell that there is more blush still left on the brush because you can see it's still a little bit pink. Um, but really, it's it's not that bad, actually. It looks pretty good. And this one is also dry to the touch as well. Actually, I do want to try one other brush. I want to try a larger brush um, because it seems like it didn't do as well with it did really well with the two eyeshadow brushes, but not as well with the blush brush. And I have a feeling it's because the blush brush is larger. You probably can't 
quite see the color that's on here because it's a beige brush and you know your powder is kind of beigey but there is color on here um, and I'm going to try and get it off. So there's some color coming off for sure. So this is great. It's also dry to the touch now. You could use it immediately but I think there's some some traces of powder still on the brush on the inside. Okay, so my thoughts on this product. It is a great product and I'm pleasantly surprised at how well it was able to clean. So with the smaller eyeshadow brushes, it cleaned it beautifully. It got all of the colors and the residue out but it did struggle a little bit with the larger brushes. So it did remove all of the gunk from and the color from the surface but it didn't get, it wasn't able to get deep down into the brush itself, like on the inside. I can tell that there's still color down in there. Um, I do think it's worth having because if you're on the go, you can't clean your brushes, you need them clean ASAP, you're traveling, this would be a really good product for you. It would just clean it really quickly. You're ready to go and ready to use it instantly. Um, I don't think it could replace your deep cleans. You still have to probably deep clean every once in a while just to get all of the gunk out of the inside. It's two ounces and it's $14, so it is rather expensive. You don't want to use this as your only cleansing tool. You'll be using a lot of it. I feel like just for those four brushes, it feels light now, like I've used half the can because you have to go in there. It says that you just spray two or three times, but as you saw, I had to spray something like five to six times and I did it twice. Um, so if you use this as your primary way to clean your brushes, you will be spending a lot of money. Um, but I do give this product probably an 8 out of 10 just for convenience. I would totally buy this again. Um, I think it's worth having on your shelf to be available for those times when you just need to quickly clean your brushes. Alright, great. I hope you found this video informative. Hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.